All right, guys, I don't know if you heard of that, but today we're going to be doing some maintenance on the Z. I'm going to change the clutch fluid again. It's been about almost 30,000 miles since I changed the clutch fluid. I'm going to change the brake fluid. I'm going to change the front brake pads. I don't think the fronts need to be changed yet, but I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to change the rear brake pads. And I was going to change the diff fluid, but I, I don't know why Amazon's being, like, stupid. I ordered my differential fluid like at the very beginning of the week and paid for faster shipping so it'd be here by friday and today's saturday and then i just looked at it and it's delayed till monday the 28th so don't understand why especially when i paid for faster shipping i'm gonna go to anthony's uh if you guys are og sub og subscribers you already know the shop so we're gonna go to anthony's because i don't have any tools where i live and i don't have a shop or anything or a lift so I'm gonna go do that, change the fluids, uh, just check everything on the Z, make sure everything's good on it, and then eventually we'll change the diff fluid. Right now we're gonna go to O'Reilly's, which is right up here, and we're gonna get the brake pads. I was gonna get the brake pads, but O'Reilly's doesn't have them. I literally called them yesterday. Two stores actually, and they said they had them, and I guess they didn't understand when I said the sport package, or like the four piston calipers. So now, I guess all I'm gonna be doing is changing my clutch fluid, brake fluid, power steering fluid, fixing the oil leak, and that's it. So I guess not a good day, but I might be changing the spark plugs. Um, if they have it, I'll, um, if the O'Reilly's has it, I'm gonna change the spark plugs. But I'm gonna go to Anthony's first, get all these fluids changed, and then uh, possibly go change the spark plugs too. <laughs> Yeah, that's hella dark. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad. Or it might just be the bottle. I don't know. It's pretty black. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I wanted to change it. Right, guys so the good news is i don't need brake pads i actually have a lot of life the brake fluid was surprisingly pretty clean the clutch fluid shockingly was like really freaking dirty and i've it's only been like twenty five thousand miles and i'm pretty sure the manual says every like sixty thousand miles to change it so but yeah i'm glad i changed clutch fluid and the clutch feels like super light right now so it's pretty crazy how light it feels so now we're gonna go get the spark plugs because i know those definitely need to be changed I'm gonna get the spark plugs and then we're gonna go back to the shop and then change the spark plugs and then the Z should be running in tip top shape for now. Why 
is this already loose? What? Who put that on last? Let's see how this vlog looks. What do you think of this plug? Mm, not that bad. I guess they've been changed too. Uh, now you see that dot? Yeah. It's usually a sign of factory plugs on oh, wow. like Fords, Dodges, Nissans. If that's usually got that, it's usually a factory plug. Damn. So, but it's not bad. But iridiums, they're they're good plugs. They yeah. last a little while, so but it's not too bad. Everything's running good. I accidentally stripped um, a throttle body bolt, but so far no vacuum leaks or anything. And then the plugs are in, so I'm gonna do a pull in a minute and hopefully everything goes well. saw the pulls just like I did spark plugs are fine I just always get paranoid that I like I just want to do it right I just I always get scared I don't do it well enough like with anything when it comes to my car so but I did some pulls nothing happened and then I don't have a vacuum leak right now so which is good because I did strip that bolt sadly but it happens so other than that clutch oh my gosh the clutch feels so good it feels like i'm driving a honda civic like it's so light and i can't believe the clutch fluid was that dirty just after like twenty eight thousand miles and i wasn't even I, all i do is just drive this car to work and like i don't even ever really get on it like just today was probably the most i've gotten on it in like months like i hardly ever Beat on this car because of the stock slave cylinder and I plan on boosting it so when I put a clutch in this yeah then I'll um then I'll beat on it some more but the clutch feels so light right now like it feels crazy like 
I can't get over how good the clutch feels just because I changed the fluid again. But like 28,000 miles and the fluid's already like that dirty. It's just crazy. And then just change the power steering fluid. Just, I don't know, just these little things just to help the car go a long way. So really trying to take care of this car. And yeah, all that's left is just changing the diff fluid. And I don't need brake pads right now, so that's good. But I uh, got the main things out of the way which was the spark plugs and they weren't even that bad but I just assumed they were I'm at 84,000 miles so yeah new spark plugs and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little maintenance video uh stay tuned for the VQ cruise hope you guys enjoy that video and uh thanks for watching